We're now joined by a Pam Health Specialty Hospital respiratory therapist and a patient. Welcome to Community Crossroads. Hello. Krista Sellers, or Sales. Sales. Krista Sales and Rob Frontiero. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a beautiful Italian name. Thank you. And Krista, I have to clarify, you're a yes. registered respiratory therapist with PM Health Specialty Hospitals, and we're here to talk about why Rob came to see y'all. So Rob, why did you go? So I uh, contracted COVID for the second time this past October. And, um, you know, I stayed out of work for the five required days, went back to work and was just not feeling myself and was having a real difficult time breathing. So my PCP recommended that I go to Pam Rehab. And what luck that they're so close by. Do you live yes. here in Victoria? I do. I do. Yes, ma'am. Wow. And what was it like working with Rob to, to get through his symptoms? What were they like? Um, it went well. Uh, the first day, usually, I introduce all the equipment that we're going to do. We go over shortness of breath and how to handle the shortness of breath and how to overcome all the shortness of breath from the long COVID. So kind of maybe like box breathing? We do a lot of purse slip breathing. So um, we teach that and diaphragmatic breathing um, at the facility. Oh, wow. What are some other uh, tests or exercises that you, that you recommend to your patients suffering from, from respiratory struggles? Um, all the patients, when they come to the facility, we work on exercise. Um, I teach them about endurance training for their heart and their lungs. Um, we also do nutrition counseling, stress management, and we go over chronic illnesses. Did you think at first that these therapies would have such a big impact? I was skeptical at first. Um, it was, you know, it, it was a situation where I felt like I wasn't in the best of shape, I wasn't in the best of health, mm -hmm. and I thought it was going to be pretty difficult, but it wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be originally. Um, they do a great job at really encouraging uh, the patients to, you know, do the exercises, the breathing. You get a lot of education, um, so it definitely helped me a lot. Have there been some um, life impacting changes or, or things that you've learned that you're going to take with you? Absolutely. Moving forward? Absolutely. Um, I think one of the things that it did was kind of help me realize that I need to get healthy. I'm at an age now where it gets harder and harder to you know maintain your health um, and just the educational piece um, you know talking about the breathing exercises doing I, I, I bought a treadmill wow. so mm -hmm. I can you know make sure that it's right there it's and I don't have to be oh reset. real deal yeah well, re total reset total well, we reset. Wanna we want to hear more about these new good habits you've learned from Pam health specialty we'll be right back after this break, don't go anywhere. Back now with Krista and Rob. They're here from Pam Health Specialty Hospitals of Victoria. And Krista, you're a registered respiratory therapist and Rob, you are a recent patient. Yes. So we were talking about Rob's battle with the long COVID symptoms. Mm -hmm. Where are you now and what are some of these new habits that you've learned that you're gonna keep with you forever? So I bought a treadmill so I've been using that treadmill um, mm -hmm. to continue keeping my lungs clear and healthy. I make sure that when I'm at work and I'm doing administrative work, I get up every hour and I try to walk around the store just to make mm -hmm. sure that you know I'm getting getting those steps in. I'm definitely trying really hard to watch my diet and different things. Um, I'm actually going to try salmon because ah. Krista had given me a lovely recipe that I can try some salmon. Um, you know, and so just kind of really focusing on getting myself back to where I used to be when I was an athlete. Avocado is also delicious. It's a really it love it's my favorite <laughs> love <fat>. some avocado. <laughs> Mine too. Avocados. Well let's not get distracted with the uh, avocado. But um, Krista, who are your patients? Who who's in need of pulmonary um, 
respiratory assistance? Um, we help patients who have any type of chronic respiratory lung disease. Um, and we also can see patients who have had a recent respiratory infection like pneumonia, COVID, anything like that that's put them down. A lot of patients that come to us have had been in the hospital for a week or two with pneumonia and we can get them back on the right track. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, what are some of the biggest obstacles when it comes to, to, to therapy of, I guess, pushing past that first terrible flare up? Um, I think the first week is always the hardest week because you're learning all the new stuff that you need to do. And I tell everybody it's a complete change of life because I'm teaching you how to manage what you've been through and how to get past it. Do you have to encourage, um, I'm sure you do, uh, right. encourage not smoking, for example. That is correct. Do you come across a lot of lifelong smokers? Yes, I do. Wow. Because we treat a lot of patients with COPD, emphysema, um, but we also treat asthma patients as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know that um, the fight to, the fighting that addiction is very difficult. It is, it is. But I educate the patients as much as I can um, on all their illnesses that they have. Um, and I usually get an HMP from the physician, so I'm able to go over it with them and go over uh, the importance of learning about their different conditions. How could you tell Rob was close to th the end of his fight? What were the, the signs, I guess, just improved speaking? Well, he came a long ways. I mean, when we first started, I mean, most of my patients can barely not even walk the treadmill 10 minutes. Um, by the time he graduated, I think we were walking over a mile by the time he graduated. So um, we do all kinds of different aerobic type activities that help for cardiovascular health. What would you have done, Rob, if Pam Health Specialty Hospitals wasn't here? I mean, where would you have gone? I honestly don't know. I really don't. Um, I'm so grateful that my PCP recommended their program because I was getting frustrated with going to work and not being able to complete a day yeah. because I couldn't breathe. And you don't realize because it's something that's so automatic as breathing. When you can't do it, it really, really affects you 100% throughout everything that you do in your day. Well, physically yeah. and, and yes. mentally, it must yes. have wrecked your mental. Yes, ma'am. Well, we're so thankful for Pam Health Specialty Hospital for our talented registered respiratory therapists in our community. Thank you. And for our community members willing to share their stories. So thank y'all so much. Uh -huh, thank thank you. you. All right, well, don't go anywhere. We get to meet a metal band. We'll be right back.